Welcome humans of Disc Golf. We are here today with my Gateway Disc Sports in the bag video in my favorite, my Ridge Roller. Uh, thank you Ridge Roller for sponsoring me this year and this video itself is brought to you by North Power Apparel. Thank you so much Ian. It's a 155 and like you can see super gummy so we're gonna use this one for just like little technical shots that we're like hanging out in the woods and just want to flex it through and let it stick because the greens really fast and full of wood chips so it sticks the landing right now I've been putting with double s hemp wizards uh, this is the last of the turbo fish run and they were really solid so thank you gateway for always sending me a great run This one is so much fun to throw. It's a wizard. It's old school. It's got like a really nice um, firm feel even though it's so soft. Just one S. And I'm using this one for those air bound shots and those shots that I really uh, learned a lot when I played all the Alright, we have a workhorse here. Every single teammate that I talk to that throws a devil hawk absolutely loves it. I ram down a little bit. I'm throwing a 173 over a 175 just so I can make it a little little more maneuverable since it is such a beefcake. Um, but I use it all the time on windy courses. You can see the shape of it. It's really similar to a lot of people who throw a bird in that slot. However, this one doesn't have a lot of glide, so it just kind of drops down and sticks the landing, which is really what I love in windy approach shots. If you need something to throw off the tee, I love just a baseline sure grip Chief OS. Uh, you can see uh, 3302, so having that extra shallowness there just really makes it go. Um, it has a lot of speed to it as far as a putter goes, so I will actually get it out to 280 feet. Um, just a really comfortable thrower and feels really good in the hands. So when you're looking for that control in your game, you reach for a mid-range. So I got, I like to carry four different molds that Gateway has here. And obviously like at different courses, I'll swap them out for what I think I need best. And one that always stays in the bag is a glow prophecy. A prophecy, I've been talking to so many people lately and they feel like it's just such an underrated disc. It's really maneuverable as far as just being your straight, stable, I've even thrown it into a headwind, and um, just glow plastic is really fun. I really appreciate you, Alan Wagner, here. You got such a good run of these. Um, I trust it. I trust it. <laughs> and next, my hemp warrior. He comes out to play a lot, actually. You can probably tell he's got a little warping going on from the love. But this one, I throw it backhand. I throw it forehand. It's gonna go super straight in the beginning of its flight and just have that trustworthy finish. And the more you season it, just, you know, the more you trust it. This one, I was able to accomplish two birdies on incredible par fours at Idlewild on holes 14 and 15. And um, yeah, trust the turbo fish. 
this is a disc that I will give to a lot of my beginners and a lot of people who are just having a hard time throwing in the woods. It's an element. In, an element in the elements. You're just gonna go really straight and um, swapping them out. I've thrown this one for a while. Thank Raj for the jump man. He goes really straight as well. And then sometimes when I need just a little more stability, I'll pull a fresh one out of the bag. They're both in diamond plastic, so they have that really comfortable um, feel and just a little bit of give as well. And then, last but not least, uh, this one I pulled out of the underground and I really like my demon. I call it my speed demon because it's definitely going to bring out a little bit of speed and I'll use it mostly on windier days and also when I'm looking for maybe just 10 extra feet off that mid-range versus the other mid-range flights. Alright guys, let's hit the fairways, my fairway drivers. Uh, thank you so much to my sponsor, Monkey Grip Dies, for this amazing Rasta Turbo Fish. And she's got on the front side and the back side, so very great attention to detail. Thank you so much, Paul Wilson, Monkey Grip Dies. And the Assassin. I'm glad this is on a disc that I love so much. I love Assassin so much that I regularly carry three to four in the bag at all times. Um, these Lucky Fish runs, thank you so much Gateway. These ones are workhorses in my bag. I throw them on maybe 70% of my shots because the courses that I've been playing have been pretty wooded lately and I'm not looking to get greedy at all. So I just disc down, seven and a half, eight speed, and that's all you really need, get it done uh, with the Assassin. This is a disc that I will reach for even when I don't know what the hole looks like. So say I'm playing a course for the first time, I just want to place it to a spot that I can see anywhere from 280 to 330 feet out in front of me and I'm grabbing this every time, grabbing an Assassin. This is one of Gateway's first discs, if not the first disc ever produced. So a Sabre has made its way into my bag this year. What I love about the Sabre is that it has a really tried and true trustworthy flight, just like my Assassin when you're maneuvering it through the woods only at whatever 60 to 80% arm speed. This saber has a little bit less of a beveled edge, so it's something that I'm trusting to not skip off as far. Gateway saber. And everybody needs a trustworthy, overstable fairway. Uh, there are Thunderbirds that exist, but you know, I find a Diablo so much better. Um, my Fish Power Diablo, uh, they'll start out super, super stable, and once you, see, once you season them in a little bit, then they can go real straight and then finish, or you hold it on that hyzer for just that trustworthy full full finish left. So, power Diablo. <laughs> Alright guys, the moment everybody's been waiting for, gateway drivers. I uh, know a lot of people don't know too much about drivers, so I'm going to start out with my favorites. I have been demolishing on these apexes lately. One of my best friends out of the St. Louis area he found me a first run Apex. Shout out to Roger Reyes, thank you very much. Let's see, as I'm uh, shopping around, I found this Apex. It's still in diamond plastic, however, I find this run to be just a little more gummy feeling. So with that, I'm able to hold it on an Annie and it'll continue that flight all the way through till just about the end. It'll pan out maybe five or 10 feet at the end but really tried and true for a shot that I'm coming through and um, coming through and holding on that Annie. However, Apex has a wide run. Uh, we go all the way to the HD Hyper Diamond series and you'll find this one to be really flat. So with this flat, I find it to be very, very stable. I'm throwing this one as a flick in um, yeah, I'm throwing this one as a flick most of the time, however, super maneuverable as well once you season them in. Alright, let's see, we're gonna take a journey with me. 
Uh, the Journey also comes in a wide variety, but it's super underrated as far as a Tailwind disc. I love using it in a Tailwind because I find sometimes, especially with the ones that run just a little more understable, they can get a little squirrely, but super trustworthy in a Tailwind. And in the Glow Plastic, I find that extra stability. With that extra stability comes a little bit of firmness as well and a little bit of pop in the dome of the rim. So I'm really enjoying this one for my stable journey. And I'm so excited. I saved this one for last. And shout out to Noah. He's been throwing the G1. So I was lucky enough to get a G1 in a Proto a few months ago. And the way it's been flying, I know it'll turn over a little more for him, but I'm just finding a really super straight flight, trustworthy with that left finish, that when I do release on a little bit of Annie, it's going to hold that flight and give me an extra 20 feet of distance before it finishes. So, shout out to the G1, I'm sure it's about to be PDT approved any moment now, and stay tuned. <laughs> so the magic, time for some bag swag. <laughs> Um, what I'm loving over here is this towel has a like almost sleeping bag outer coat that's waterproof. So I'll be able to take it inside and this really nice microfiber terry cloth is just the best. There we go. Made from the same company as well, I keep my drive bag nice and um, rain free. And it was Shark Week the other week, so I'm rocking the shark pouch. <laughs> Coming on over to my mini swag. Everybody's got to have a great mini. Thank you so much, North Par Apparel. And I've also had a lot of questions lately about this glass mini I've been rocking. This glass mini made by Lucky Blown Glass. And yeah, it's really durable too. I've dropped it a few times and we still don't have any scratches. And it's something that when you come to a hard place during your round, uh, it reflects sunlight onto your palm and you can see like little galaxies or just like looking through it and having fun. So thank you so much. <laughs> All right. And yes, yes I am. I am definitely that girl who has a crystal in her bag. <laughs> so today's crystal, we have a crazy yellow lace agate. <laughs> this one's just good for joy and feeling good and that's exactly what disc golf is all about. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. So guys, keep playing disc golf, keep having fun.